All right, what's up everybody? This is Chuck, it's Chris Watt with Simply Vegas, your Las Vegas realtor, bringing you another property tour. Again, we are here in the city of Henderson, in a mass planning community called Inspirata. We're gonna to be touring this modern home today by Pardi. Now, this two story features 2,388 square feet. You do have an option to four bedrooms to three baths, but this one, I'm gonna show you the standard on a three bedrooms, two and a half bath with a lounge and a great room, two car garage. The asking price on this is $405, uh, what? $400,500, you big dummy. Now this elevation here that you see, this is elevation B. Now, let me add, I gotta get out of the wind here. It's just messing everything all up. Big time. Oh man, sorry about that folks. It's just so windy, but it's hot too, it's weird. It's like I'm in a big old blow dryer. So this elevation B is a desert contemporary, that's right. So let me just kind of pan around here. Now the pricing on here starts off again for elevation A is gonna be $400,500. Elevation B, and that's what this is here, will start you off at 14, uh, 416,000. Elevation C will be at 410,000. And elevation D will be at 417,500. Whew. That was a disaster. Now, let me take a look. We have a nice covered patio. I do love that design here, how they have this stone veneer that blocks this whole thing right here. Now, I noticed with uh, the homes on the track, and this is what you need to be aware of. A lot of these modern homes that they're building, they're not fully a architecture modern design. That's what you got to watch out for sometimes. You have a nice eight foot door. You do have a ring doorbell that is included. Oh, I got to get inside because it is hot outside, 108 degrees today, folks. That is right. So as we come in, really nice high ceilings there. But we're going to start off on this side, okay? Because you do have an option all the way up to a four bedroom. Right, and this would be your four bedroom downstairs. It would be a fourth bedroom and three bathrooms total. So you do have an option to have this as a lounge. So basically, this wall right here would just be completely open. You would have this opened up too as well. All right, let me come on in, flip this thing around. So that way you guys can see exactly what is going on. You have Pre-wire four can lighting. You do have the option for the uh, LED lights too as well. That's one of the uh, options that you'll have. Uh, standard baseboard, you have the three inch, but you have an option to do the five inch. As you can see, you have your one in one, which is your uh, Cat 6, and also your cable as well. Here's your standard two by eight on the closet. Okay, it's a two panel door here, which is really nice. I love that color block there with the uh, shades there, it looks really nice. Let me adjust this mic here, here we go. All right. So now if this becomes a lounge, what happens is this no longer becomes a three quarter bath. This bath is completely gone, which is I think there's a value here if instead of the lounge, right, have this as a fourth bedroom. You know what's great about this? Is that this is great for you know, when you have guests that come over because they would never have to go upstairs. So we got some closet here. Underneath the staircase, okay. So across here we do have our two car garage, but this is uh, more of a design studio, kind of shows you exactly 
uh, what you get with uh, this builder. So right here, they just kind of built a little valet here. So this won't be here. But we're going to shimmy on back here. So you have a nice open floor plan. I do love that big slider here. We have the kitchen. Really nice. Now, it does come with some thermal cabinets, and that's what these are right here. However, you're not going to get this one. This is a, a, a higher level, so it's going to cost you more. And I believe you get the uh, quartz countertops. The backsplash, normally you'll get the 4-inch backsplash. Here's the uh, GE appliances. I believe these are the standard GE appliances that do come with it. You do have a upgrade where you can go all the way up to the cafe version. Cafe version is a more of a upgrade for GE, but just below monogram. Monogram is kind of more their elite series. Now these are not soft cabinets, uh, soft clothing cabinets on this one. So the baseboards have been an upgrade on here. And you got your dual basin sink. I believe on the dual basin sink on this one is standard, I believe so. And again, you got your push button for your garbage disposal. This one's probably about one horsepower. And your delta faucets. Normally you'll get the delta faucets, but you're probably not going to get this one. Again, the refrigerator are not included. Let's take a look here. Normally you would just have shelving. These are a upgraded shelving here for the adjustable. And oh, look at this. I love this pocket door right here. Isn't this cool? Now if the pocket door is shut all the way, how do you get to the pocket door? There should be a little lever right there. You see that? how that works? Boom. You just pull this and grab the door. Now eventually what happens with these pocket doors, and I can attest to this because I have this, what eventually happen is you can make the adjustments. You see how loose this is? You should be able to make that adjustment, make it nice and smooth, but you don't want it too tight. What happens is eventually you'll end up scratching the paint here by going back and forth. So that's something that you're definitely going to have to keep in mind. Also with the uh, cabinets here, I love these handles and these rails. Make sure to get uh, all your bumpers on each cabinet so that way the cabinet is not damaged especially with these thermal folds and also what I want you to do is when you're at your orientation or you're doing your final walk make sure the cabinet line is completely symmetrical and straight all the way across also what I've noticed about this after you grab the handle so many times look at the brand that you get because this thing can flex up and down you end up scraping this and you start scratching the bottom of this so it's just something that I was aware of uh, when we did a purchase for a client, so just be on the lookout for that, okay? Also, with these thermofoil cabinets, do not use any type of chemicals. Normally, you would just uh, get with the manufacturer, and they'll just say just uh, regular, you know, warm water with a microfiber towel, okay? But definitely, we'll do some light rails underneath here for sure. We talked about this. Um, the microwave also acts as a convectional microwave. You want to check if this is a convectional microwave. If it is a convection microwave, there are different types of convection microwaves where it cooks instantly, which is really nice. Also, this acts as a exhaust hood too as well because if you don't have a hood, sometimes these microwaves will exhaust back out. You definitely want to check with the builder to see if and this one I can't open because it's full overlays. Normally this should open, all right, and I can see in between it, so it does exhaust out, which is really nice. But that's something that you're going to want to check. Some builders will charge you for that too as well. So this is such a creative idea right here. So now we are in the cafe section, right? Look at this. The designer had pre-thought this out, and this is something that you need to do. So you see these type of uh, lighting here, right? They already knew that they were going to put this lighting here. They already knew that they were going to put this table here. So for this design, they had to pre-wire each light. Normally it's about 125 to 175 depending on which builder. But look at how they pre-wired it here. Now if you say, hey, I want to pre-wire for chandelier, they're just going to center it, right? From the cafe area, just going to center it. However, because they're going with this design, they pre-wired to where they wanted. So what I'm trying to say is that when you're building a home, you definitely have to have a vision. Feature wall here, 
uh, this is not included. This is an aftermarket where you can do yourself. Again, property comes with that two-tone paint. Now, I want to show you the uh, texture on this here. Now, I don't know if you guys can get that texture. So that's not a, not a good example. But this is a Santa Fe texture that has been upgraded. Now, also, we have tile here. 12 by 24 normally comes with 18 by 18, right? Standard only in the wet areas. Probably go from here. Here, the rest of all of this is going to be carpet. So you need to be aware of that. Now, standard here is a window. You do have an option for a vinyl six foot slide here. That would be a structural upgrade. Now we have a 12 foot slide, okay, which is really nice. These are just final. You do have the almond color. We talked about this with uh, the builders. You do have options as far as can you go bright white. Some builders will give you that customized option depending on the builder. So now, uh, let's come back out here. All this right here is not included, but this gives you an idea of what you can do in your backyard. I can tell you this built in right here, it's probably gonna run you about $4,500. I definitely would do a cover patio here for sure. Let's see what we got back here. We got our AC unit. So this AC unit right here is not included because that's part of the uh, the garage for the showroom. But it looks like you only get one AC unit. I believe this one is a 14 sear. And one of the things that you need to take a look at is what comes with the home standard. If you could do a 16 sear unit, I definitely would do a 16 sear unit. Now one thing I should do is probably like a video on 10 top things that you should ask the builder what comes with the home standard. So that way you know exactly what you're getting for your money because sometimes you're going with the builder because it's cheaper, but by the time you built it out, it's gonna cost you just as more money versus doing all your homework up front, checking the standard type of AC unit, type of installation, right? You wanna see what you get for your money as far as standard wise. Pretty nice. So you do have your uh, light fixtures here. However, with the, not your light fixtures, but um, your recessed can lighting, this one has six. Normally it comes with four standard with your pre-wire and also your cable. In this case, uh, you have a lot more, so this would all be a, or be an upgrade. Now, I don't know if you guys can see the texture here. I gotta show you the Santa Fe texture. See, these are things that you just need to be aware of. Here we go. Get some light on there. How's about this way? Okay. Now, the stair railing, okay? I believe you have an option that you can take this pony wall down and just do an open staircasing. That's what I would do with the rails. Nice plush carpets. Now this is not the standard carpets. You wanna see what the br uh, brand is. Is it a synthetic, uh, synthetic, <laughs> synthetic carpet? Let me take off this mask. Ooh, now here's our loft. Now this is a nice loft, de pretty decent size. I would say a little bit bigger than uh, 12 by 11. Now you do have an option to make this into the third bedroom if you choose to. Again, you're not gonna get that uh, pre wire ceiling fan or light or the four can lighting on this one, but really gives you an option. However, you close this off. Now, it doesn't seem that open. But let me know in the comments below if you would have all this open. I think this would be a great idea. Now this would be the technically the third bedroom here. Now, third bedroom would be all standard. As you can see, they showed you in an example with the four, without the four can lighting, but just the pre-wire for the, the um, fixture here. However, 
let's say if you did a pre-wire for the fixture, you better make sure it's rated for at least a 60 pound, right? So that way you're not hanging a ceiling fan or something heavy. Next thing you know, your drywall falls out. Now, with the AC unit, one thing that you must probably take a look at is you see this um, can right here? This is where all the hot air goes out, right above. Takes it right into the uh, AC unit in your return line. Now, normally they'll use a jumper. Now, let's see. This one is also a jumper. So, that is a return line for this room, which is really nice. Some builders may charge you for that. You got your bathroom. So you got double sinks here, high vanity. We talked about this. Possibly, you know, they're going to upgrade you. If you do one bathroom, does it all change too as well? We even talked about that on doors. You got your tub shower combo. Now you do have an option on here just to do a just a whole shower, but I do love the tub shower combo, but I would definitely put a glass on that for sure. I do love the way that this home is designed. Coming into the laundry room. Now you hear that? Let's see if I can do it again. Hear that? That means properties ex expanding and contracting. And this is where I want you to do on the subfloors is when you're doing your final, you want to make sure everything's screwed down tight. A couple options here. You can do pre plumb with the sink here. You can do your 36 upper cabinets. Washer and dryer are not included. However, I'm sure you can negotiate that. You got your drain pan too right here, which is really nice. Okay. So we have our linen closet, pretty large master bedroom, normally comes with the pre-wire ceiling fan, does not come with the 4-can lighting or the surround sound. Ooh, I love that mirror right there. Look how gorgeous that mirror is. You got the digital, digital, digital programmable thermostat, and it's also connected to your Wi-Fi. Let's take a look at the bathroom here. Bathroom, you can't do any type of configurations. What you see is what you get, but you can definitely change the flooring on here. Uh, you have a one-piece uh, fiberglass, which is really nice. Here's your walk-in closet. Normally, uh, you're not going to get this. Excuse me. You're not going to get this type of shelving. This is a upgraded mirror door. Let me just show you what it kind of looks like here. Bam, I'm so fly. Yeah, yeah, right. All right. It's not about me. Look, guys, I'm trying to be funny, so if you guys are going to criticize, like, oh, man, he, he, he thinks he's all hot shit, blah, blah. Uh, guys, I'm just trying to have some fun with you guys, okay? Like, relax for a second. But if you guys want to criticize, go ahead. I'm all for it because you have a right to. Now, I do love this vanity it's pretty nice so we have a petrophenia here normally petrophenia comes standard with the builder undermounted sinks delta you have this spa like tile all the way to the top that's an upgrade even with these round tiles here as well i definitely would if i had this bathroom i would definitely pre-wire put a light here and yeah i'd probably put a light here and possibly try to put something right there but it looks like it's too small so hmm Cool. I'm curious to hear what your thoughts are about this property on the comments below. Now, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, you probably need to do that right away. HOAs in this community. Oh, I love those windows right there. HOAs are $66 a month. There are no SIDS and LIDS. That is right. Now, overall, I do like the design of this model however you know they're saying that this is more of a 
modern type of design. I don't really feel like the architectural is here on that aspect. However, it's still a great design. Let me know in the comments below. Other than that, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Chuck. It's Chris Watt with Simply Vegas, and have a blessed day.